Looks like you guys have got a little orphan lamb. Hey. Welcome back, guys. It's been a long time since I've uploaded a YouTube video. My God, that sun's really bright. I've been sticking with TikTok and Instagram lately and I've been very, very busy. We've been having a lot of life altering things happen on the farm. One of those being we found toxic mold in the house. When I say toxic, it's not the one that starts with an S. I'll put it up on the screen. I'm trying to squeeze between a farm gate here. Um, and so we've had to do major renovations on the kitchen, the laundry, and a bunch of stuff. My kids have run off. They were supposed to open that gate and shut it for me. We're going out to go and check on the lambs. We are currently going through lambing time. Um, yes, we're currently lambing at the moment. As you may notice, I've got a few spots on my face. Um, hormone imbalances, finally found out what's wrong with me. I have endometriosis, adeno, adeno, whatever, meiosis. And varicose veins, so that's a whole nother video, but I'm sure there's a lot of women here that can relate and I'm booking in for probably a hysterectomy in uh, 11 months time, so at least I have answers now. But this video is not about that, this video is about our lambs and our farm and I'm going out now, I don't know why I put my seatbelt on I guess so then it doesn't make a beeping noise, um, to go and check on the lambs. So our ewe started um, lambing five days ago and um, I go out three, four times a day to check on them just to make sure that none of the ewes are having any difficulty birthing. Um, we had one the other day and I uploaded it on TikTok. It's actually at 220 something thousand views on there. I cannot believe it. Do not make any money on TikTok whatsoever. So that sort of sucks, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool to share our stories there. I will upload that in a minute, but I'll give you a bit of a background to that story. Here's my beautiful kids. They're supposed to be uh, opening the gate for me. Instead, they've run off on the farm. Jump in. So I've picked up one hitchhiker at the back here and my son <laughs> Riley's run off down here. They're all safe. They know I, They know that I know that they're there. He's having a little competition running across here. I don't know if you guys can see him through there. So yes, um, the other day I noticed that there was a ewe lambing and she'd been lambing for quite some time and um, the leg and the face of the lamb was sticking out of her and I have to put these glasses on because it's going to get very bright across here. Um, yes, so it was getting very, very, um, like quite a long time in labour as most women will know that have had a baby that labour can change very very quickly and um, unfortunately hers progressed very slowly and I saw that she was giving up and actually she was in this dam up here I don't know if you can see with that Sun she was lying in that dam and then when I'd get close to her she'd run off again she was very very stressed out so um, Matilda and I the boys went back Riley and Connor to go and keep renovating the kitchen which I will share in a future video once it's all done um, and yeah, we, Tilly and I, we jumped on the quad bike and followed her from a very large distance away so she wasn't stressed out. But after two, three hours, she was just not good. And we could see brown and yellow coming out of the back end um, where the baby should be coming out of. So um, we just thought that baby's probably going to be dead. And um, yeah, I'll upload that very short video here. It's very emotional, a lot of emotions in one video. And um, yeah, I'll upload it here. Yeah, it's definitely dead. Oh, it's coming, honey. It's coming. I know. Don't run off. Don't run off. Oh, it's alive! It's, it's alive. alive! It's alive! Oh. It's alive, honey. Come on. Oh, I know. I just. I know. Okay, let the mum be. We saved it. Brent, come over here, Tilly, closer. Oh, we did it, honey. <laughs> yeah, it's alive. I didn't even look if it was a boy or a girl. Good girl. Oh, it's so cute. We saved it. Oh my goodness, darling. That's a rush of adrenaline. I thought it was for sure dead. <laughs> Can you see it? 
Mm -hmm. Hopefully the mum sticks by it. I'm sorry, darling. So as you can see, um, a lot of emotions. It was a happy ending and um, a moment I'll tre treasure forever, hearing Tilly's beautiful voice. Riley has run about a kilometre. <laughs> you exhausted now, buddy? <laughs> you exhausted? Good running. All right, jump in. <laughs> so um, yeah, we've now moved the sheep into this paddock here. Um, we've got the gates open for now, just while they're getting used to this paddock. And um, we'll have a little scout around for some more lambs. All right, I'm about to show you guys this dam, but I've noticed there's a ewe up there laying down. Um, I don't know if you guys can see from here. I'll try and zoom in, but um, we'll have to go and check on her. There was a ewe in that direction earlier today that had twins, but um, if it's not her, I'm just going to check anyway. So here you can see um, the dam. This was a spring-fed dam, and I'll try and find a photo of when it was smaller, but it was very, very steep there was no gradual decline down to the um, area for them to drink. So it's still quite steep, a little muddy, but um, yeah, Dad and Connor have been working on the excavator, I'm trying to make it a little safer for them. But for now, down here, you can see there is a um, river flowing through the property. So they're getting all their water from there. It's so beautiful out here. We've got all the lambs barring. We've got the moon up there. It's just absolutely beautiful quite a lot of weeds in here but there's a lot of grass down near the bottom part of the paddock. You hear the lambs? So the one that was on top of the hill I think she's in labour she waddled off down there. So we've got a total of 15 lambs at the moment we have um, two sets of twins and then the rest are singles. Not 17 we've got 15. Um, so it's a bit hard to count now um, when you're up top of the hill and they're all in the middle here it's sort of easier but when you try to count them they all move and it just makes it very difficult but we've got 76 ewes or 77 no, 77 ewes we're hoping to get at least 90 lambs fingers crossed um, so far we're at 15 and they're all very healthy very strong um, very and all a really decent weight not too too big except that one that got stuck um, yeah I might insert a little bit of footage that I got this morning of the twins that were very unexpected so Matilda thinks she's seen one that's uh, maybe been abandoned I don't think it is I think Tilly might be hoping no see the mum is over near it that darling they all seem like very good mums Tilly's hoping for a bot to be able to feed one obviously she doesn't want something bad to happen to the mum but she just sees how cute they are and every time we come out here she's looking to see if one's been abandoned um i can hear one sounding quite distressed but i think it's okay honey they're all running around we just make sure that all the mums especially the twin mums have got their babies can you hear gunshots I just heard gunshots. We've had a lot of uh, fox issues at the moment. Luckily, touch wood, ours have all been fine. Connor and Dad went out this morning um, and went shooting at 6.30, but actually didn't see any foxes. You always see one when you don't have the gun. So let's have a look. We got one, two, three, four, five. You okay? Let's see. So we've got one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine i can see nine here ten i think i see eleven eleven you see eleven oh yep yeah, over there got quite a few and twelve wow i might go get my big camera lens on so you guys can see them Thirteen. so i'm gonna go up to the car and get my big big camera lens um i can't vlog on that but you guys can see a little bit more of a close-up of the lambs and also helps me the other day i brought the big camera lens out so i could zoom in on one of the mamas giving birth to make sure she um birthed the placenta 
because you just don't want to get too close. Um, you want to let them be and let nature take its course. But they're very happy in this paddock. And like I said, we do get foxes in England and Ireland and other places. They do bring their sheep into yards. Australia, we just do not do that. So um, we just try and cull the foxes and yeah. Okay, we found the source of the crying. It's this lamb here. Um, if it hasn't found its mum soon, we'll have to go and pick her up and bottle feed her because she can't seem to find her mum. Is that her mum? I don't think so. That one's just walking along, not even bothered. It could, it could be a... Um, is it? No, it's trying to, but it's not its mum, darling. It um, could be a twin and the mum's rejected it. No, that's not its mum. It's, it's like... Its mum's telling it to get off. I think it is objective. No, it's not its mama. It's trying to find its mum. I think we might have to go down and try and get it. That one's having a wee. <laughs> you can just sort of see here. It's very hard to film with this. I don't want to interfere and take it away from its mum, but all of these mamas are all walking off with their babies and it's by itself. I that when I was jumping. Let's go down and get it. Hey. Get it. Can't Alright guys, I'm not on camera, but I've got the extra zoom lens on, but I picked him up and we don't seem to be able to find the mum. We'll do a drive around. There's a mum over there, Tilly, looking around. It could be that one. Okay, so we've got him in the car on our Out West rug. A <laughs> little bit of advertising oh, yeah. here. Um, but there is a U, a few U's. I don't have my zoom lens on anymore. In here, there's three sort of watching me. So I'm going to go down and make sure that it's not theirs. And if not, we'll take him back and bottle feed him until he's bigger. And then he can go back out in the paddock when he's about 12, 16 weeks. Our sheep are Aussie white cross dorpers, in case you guys didn't know. Um, they're second cross Aussie white, these lambs. So the ewes are first cross Aussie white, meaning they're 50-50%. <laughs> and then the lambs are... 75% roughly Aussie white and 25% roughly Dorper. There is a mama or some four ewes here. One of them's definitely still pregnant. So three of those here and I think this one at the back may be its mum. So we'll go and have a look. No, she's still pregnant. I don't know. Should we get out and just check? I don't like intervening. I know the mum's gonna raise it better than we can. Hmm, what are we gonna do? It's just not These ones are interested in us out here, Riley, watching you, so. You all content there, little fella? We call you Aussie. Hey? No, I'm gonna name you Bam Bam. <laughs> Bam Bam. <laughs> yeah, you, you named the first one Bam Bam. Then we didn't know which one was Bam Bam because we had so many. No, Bam Bam is the oldest. Okay. Do you want, you need some milk in you though. You're a good size. I see your umbilical cord. I think he was born this morning. Oh. Maybe Mom. last night. Isn't he cute? We've got to find out whose mum is this. They're all just sort of walking off. This one behind me is a boy. He, um, if you can see him there, he's a weather. He's the only boy in here. Doesn't have his bits anymore. I'm going to go down and just see. Oh. I think you're quite cosy. I think you're quite comfy with me, hey? Yeah? I don't know what happened to your mama. Why she left you? Hey? Why'd your mama leave? Yeah, they've all walked off. All of them have walked off. 
They've all walked off, buddy. I know Tilly wants to call you Bam Bam, but I want to call you Aussie. Sitting there like a puppy. Hey? <laughs> Oh, you look so oh, that was a bit of excitement. He went running. He's yelling, Mom! Mom! Oh, I feel sorry for you, buddy, but also my heart can't cope with that. <laughs> There's a mama over there. But she seems content with hers. Should we walk over? No, she has um, him. Yeah. Lamb went to that one. I remember because I know what it looks like. I think it just wants a feed and it's going to anyone. And it didn't feed it. Let's take it home. You want a lamb? Yeah. Yeah? We decided. You know, you know we're not keeping him forever. We're not like Boomerang. Yeah. Like we're naming two him. years old. Rocky. Not till he's two years old. We're when he's a couple. One years old, maybe. We're naming him Rocky. Rocky? How come Rocky? Because it's cute. <laughs> that is a cute name. I like Rocky. He likes climbing a lot. Looks hey. Like After a couple of months, he's coming back out here though when he's being in strong. Are you me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel really bad taking him from his mum, but the mum left him. She went out to go get the milk and never came back. Those two annoys mum, they're giving back. We already had the milk. Yeah, well, we've got milk at home, so we're going to have to make a bottle up, make a pen up for him. We've got a little. Um, Look, be careful that lamb, guys, don't go near it. Because that mama actually cares for her baby. <laughs> I know they just hide with that light. Alright, we're going to go for a drive around. Make sure there's no mama that's injured or stuck in a fence somewhere. Or she may have died during birth, which I don't think so. But we just want to make sure before we take this little dude. So you see this mother, she keeps coming back for a baby. Do you think that's his mum? No, we just show him and he didn't even Shall we let him out with her? No, I can't. I like she looks very stressed though and I don't know whether she's stressed because we're here or whether she's calling out for hers. Maybe we should let her see it. Are you okay? Yeah, I think she's calling out for it. She's watching that one, but that one looks so tiny compared to him. Let's go check. I don't know if that's his mum, but we'll just try. We'll turn that car off. I think that might be it's the baby. Let's see. See what happens. Is it its mum? I know, because that one there is just left down there too. I am so confused. Have a drink, mister. I want to see if that's your mother. Why is she so distressed? Has her other lamb gone off? I think that's She's leaving this one. one. I hear her not. What's... Why is she leaving this one now? Is this one okay? Oh, hello, you're just sleeping. Is this one having a feed? It's getting a feed with the mum. Is she, did she just have babies to these two and banded them both? I'm not sure what's going on. Is she pregnant? She just left this stressed out now. It's okay. I hear some thoughts. All right, let's move away. Let's just watch. Come over here. Okay, so she missed her baby here. She's that dumb that she wandered off and then when it woke up and barred, she realised. But I don't think the guy behind him, behind her, the one that we found, is actually hers. I know, I'm watching. 
trying to drink. Like, we'll just see what she does. Do she's trying to kick him off. But doesn't want to. Yeah, doesn't want to let her feed. But doesn't want us to hurt him, him. feed. I think she's wondering who the hell are you? You're not my child. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go grab him in a sec, guys. Another yeah, she's she's head biting him. Yeah, I'm gonna go oh, grab him. All right, we got our cardio up. We had to chase her, him. Um, yeah, it's not the mum. Looks like you guys have got a little orphan lamb. Okay. Uh -huh. Super day. cute. All right, we're gonna take him home and go make a bottle up. Bottle. Put a little blanket on him that I bought online. <laughs> I fit his heart and he's going boom. boom I know he's a bit, boom, he's a bit boom, shocked. Boom. We need to get some milk into him. So I bought him an extra small dog jacket. It was three bucks online from some Taking. shop. But you can always use um, old kids' clothes or whatever. And we'll need to get some nappies for him if he's going to come in. On your feet? I don't think so. I think we'll set him up a little area out in the um, woodshed. And he's not coming in. Maggie, our dog. We'll chase him all night. No, he's sleeping he in my room. He can't sleep with the cat. He can poo poo in my room. No, he's not doing that. All right, I'm going to leave Tilly there for a sec. We're home. And I'm going to, we've shut this side. That was shut earlier. And going to have a look at this area here where we keep the wood for now. We did have an area set up last year, but we've had to pull it down. Um might make this area in here just for tonight until I've got time to make something else but the trouble is he's going to call out for mates so do I pop boomerang which was our last orphan lamb who's actually a pet now in here with it or not I don't know and obviously I need to block off this area just drag this across just drag that across there for now and then put some uh, straw in here to keep him warm and then come out and bottle feed him. Riley's just saying how beautiful it is out here. Beautiful sunset isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, the formula and the teats in the bottle are down. <laughs> Hello Tilly, what are you doing? You're laying down there with it. He sniffed Stop the making noises. and then he um, laid down there. Oh yeah, so Connor's gone over, he's just gotten home from work, he's gone over to the big shed, literally, it's been five minutes we've been home, to go get the formula and everything. Um, we left it down in the big shed, I think, in a big container. Mm -hmm. That organiser, I couldn't remember where mm -hmm. I put it, sorry. We'll feed it tonight, but Dad's going down to the back paddock now, and I'm going to go out on the quad just to look for the mum again. I know it's got our human scent on it now, but it's just better for it to be with its mum. Isn't it Tilly McGee? Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. No, I want it. <laughs> you want it. Okay, so this is my brand new kitchen. Not showing you guys it complete now because it's not complete. But um, I'm about to mix up some formula for the lamb. Um, and I did want to add in that <laughs> there's a lot of controversy or what's the word? I guess opinions on farmers from some people that seem to think that um, all they care about is the money. <laughs> That's absolutely not. The amount that this formula, uh, Prophylac, costs is close to $200 for this. And that will do one lamb. So, <laughs> maybe, maybe one and a half lambs all the way up until 12 weeks. So, <laughs> go look at the sheep prices we don't, we don't get that per lamb so um yeah just wanted to add that in here i'm gonna mix this up now we had this last year from boomerang and another few potty lambs we had but sadly one of them passed away um and yeah we've only got a quarter not even a quarter left so yeah, it's, I think it was 180 bucks or something. I can't remember exactly. You can look it up. But it's called Prophylac Shepherd. And you can use um, powdered milk, but when you work out per kilo, um, this is the same price. And this is better for um, newborn lambs than powdered human milk. So you can go down that route if you've got nothing in your home and it's an emergency. But um, yeah, also another thing is you want to hope that they've had colostrum from their mum. Connor's just come home and he went out hunting this morning and he could hear a lamb distressed but only 
called out twice, whereas that this one here called out many, many, many times for me to pick it up. So he thinks maybe it was that one and the mum abandoned it this morning. Maybe it was a twin. Sometimes that happens. The mum just doesn't want to take on two. She can't be bothered. So she abandons one. So we're going to take as much care as possible of this one. And um, sometimes they make it, sometimes they don't. And we're going to try our best. All right, I've mixed up a bottle. It's been a while since I've done one. I can go and feed it. Tilly's wanting to do it, but I've told her that I just need to make sure it latches on okay first. You bend down till it's, you can see. He's stepping on the It'll just take him a while to get used to it. Got this. There we go. There we go, he's got his little tail going. Here, Tilly, you hold it and I'll grab the camera. Hang on. Come on. I'm doing some. You gotta stand over him like me. So you stand over him like this. Yep, yeah. then bring it round. He might need a little break. Is he still sucking? Yeah, he's sucking. It needs to be up so he doesn't get air in his tummy. Just like a baby. Alright, we're going back in there, but I just went inside to go and grab the cutest little dog, extra small dog jacket for the lamb, because it does get down to minus one and stuff at night. It gets quite cold here in Australia. And then we've popped some hay in here. It's very hard to see in here. There's no light. I don't know if you guys can see. I have to get my torch out and see some hay down here for him on top of a cardboard box. So he was having trouble standing on the cardboard box because it's quite slippery, but the um, hay is helping him and it will keep him warm too. Looking a bit cute there, Rocky. He's a bit tired and stressed out, I think. Works out perfect. Do you love him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he doesn't know what's happening. Good morning, what a sunset, or sunrise I should say. It's been beautiful. Just out um, about to feed Rocky, the potty lamb. Hey buddy, do you have a good sleep? You hold that honey while I open it up. So he's had a bit of uh, scouring, diarrhea. Um, I'll have to put the camera down to feed him. Come on Tilly, come in. Stay there Maggie. Um, so we're going to go to the shop, to the hardware today and get some um, electrolytes for him just to make sure he's alright because hey, yeah it's pretty gross. Good boy. You survived your first night. Okay, we just need to get you some um, electrolytes today. Look good. Did this keep you warm? Hmm? You're going to outgrow that pretty quick. Alright, I am back from town. I picked up a few supplies including Vitrate, which is um, something one of my farmer friends um, recommended for me to use on any scouring lambs. I've never used it before. Um, scouring is like diarrhea. Um, Rocky, the potty lamb, orphan lamb, is scouring a little bit. It's quite common when they start formula, but you don't want it to get worse because then they can go downhill pretty quick. So I've never used this before. Apparently it's 10 mils to 120 mils of water. She said she just chucks five to 10 mils in a syringe and shoves it down their gob and then an hour later feeds them their formula, their bottle. So um, I'm so, sort of torn. Um, I don't think he's going to drink 125 mils of watery stuff. I think he'd rather the formula, but we'll give it a go. We'll do it as the bottle says, I guess. Need to change my uh, boots. These are my town 
dropping the kids to school boots and then I got my wellies out there which I need to check for spiders now because the lambs are scouring I'm uh their bottom of those are disgusting so they did not come in the house last night and you guys may remember the incident where I put my hand inside my boot just feeling a lump thinking it was a sock and instead I pulled out a big handful of a huntsman spider so I always check now <laughs> I mean I did before but I double check now make sure there's nothing in there and then I stand on them make sure nothing runs out and I think they're all good my trendy welly boots please not be anything in there this is what I did last time I put my foot in and then I felt something I was like oh maybe I've got a sock in there nope it was a huntsman <laughs> hey buddy you seem very very vocal why can I not get this open hey buddy all right where are you He's trying to find my, the teeth. There we go. This might taste a bit weird. It's not the same. Help your tummy. You kitty. I love when their little tail goes. Good boy. I'll be back soon, buddy. I'll come bring you a bottle once I fed the others. So these are the ones that we call the cottage paddock sheep because they're right next to the cottage. Um, there's Boomerang at the front here. That's the last potty lamb we had. And then the one behind him is Barry, is another lamb, orphan lamb. The rest are not. We got three rams at the back, and then the other ones we got to train Maggie up on and eventually butcher because I know it sounds horrible, um, but that was the plan. Um, I plan on today setting up the same. Um, orphan lamb pen that we had last year I had to take it down because these are a mate's yards and he was going to pick them up um, so set up another one over here for during the day and then when it is full-on raining which it's meant to have a lot of rain tonight put him back in there um, it'd be different if he had a mate with him but he doesn't hey guys you're after food eh I just picked up some sheep pellets for you guys some cubes so under there is our hay we're running very low on it we also have half a ton of lupins still but I just picked up this $28 bale compressed bale of hay expensive um, there's nothing at farmers or anything anymore we've got no no contacts to pick up bulk hay anywhere now because it's just impossible to get picked up some sheep cubes for these guys and some lamb pellets because I'm running low and then these buckets are in the back here because I fill them with lupins and feed them out to the sheep in the big paddock, the pregnant ewes. So I'm going to walk backwards because I don't want you guys seeing my number plate on my car. So I may trip over and it may be funny for you guys. Um, we, I plan on taking the quad bike out. It's a little easier to see the sheep. Plus I've got a problem with the um, exhaust on my ute making a terrible sound. So we need an order apart for that tonight. I'm going to use the quad bike to go pick up that compressed hay, which is quite heavy. It's about 30 kilos. Um, so I'm going to pop that in the quad. Can't take Maggie out. You can probably hear my dog in the kennel, Maggie. Um, she just can't come out there at the moment, especially on the quad. She's quite scared of the quad. I still need to train her to jump on when it's running. She'll jump on when it's off. Um, sometimes I swear I am like Lorelai Gilmore. Been watching the Gilmore Girls lately and oh my god I swear I have ADHD just jump from one conversation to the next constantly same with Tars um, <laughs> I'm currently walking backwards like a nut job anyway um, yes yeah, so I'm gonna go do that now and I also have to remind myself to grab my pocket knife out of the car Alright, gonna pop this on up here and then I'll tie it on just so it doesn't fall off when I go down the hill. Maggie, I know you want out. She's such a muppet. That'll do. Time to pop these in this shed because that's for these sheep up this way, not in the back paddock. We've got, I'll pop them here. 
Um, most of our laundry in here at the moment uh, from Ikea flat pack. So once the kitchen's done, we'll be doing that. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Hey? All right, I think I can hear my dad's farm mute pop rocking up. So I'm gonna get going, otherwise I'll be talking all day. <laughs> All right, almost forgot my knife. My car needs a very good clean. And my gloves, oh, I got a cow ear. Quite gross, but for Maggie, I need to give her that. Might pop that in there for her now, so she calms down a bit. So they're just the same as the pig ears, obviously bigger. Well, that's debatable actually, because sometimes those pig ears are giant. Um, from the stock feed. I don't get them all the time for her, but um, this time it's a treat. She does get dental bones nearly every day though. She's a spoilt dog. Hey Maggie Moo, what are you doing Missy? Hey, <laughs> I'm sure Grandad had you out today. Maggie sit, sit down. Good girl, stay, stay, look. Look, look what I got, no, no, don't get out. What's that? She's not sure. <laughs> oh, you like it. That'll keep you quiet for another 20 minutes while I'm out. I swear as a mum, you hear mum, 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 mum constantly. And then when the kids are at school, I hear bah, the dog whining, the lamb going, just does not end. And then I go inside and the cat meows. So we've got a big burn off pile. I think depending on the um, wind, we're gonna be burning that off tonight. Um, have a few drinks around the bonfire and yeah, with my dad and Connor and the kids, which will be good. Okay, so I'm out here. Um, I'm not gonna even attempt to count the lambs at the moment because it's very hard when it's um, this many sheep. It was easy when there was one or two, maybe 10. Now there should be 14 out here and one back at the house, which is the orphan as of yesterday. So our count was a total of 15. What I'm gonna do is um, throw this hay out in a big line, like trail it out. And um, hopefully then I can count them a little easier. The reason why I'm putting hay out here, even though there's lots of green grass, is because they're new to this paddock and um, they can scour diarrhea quite easily when they're on new pasture. Um, this is like a little bit of roughage for them. So yeah, that's, that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> So this dude here is the absolute best. He is a Wilterpole. The rest are Aussie white cross daubers, but his breed is a Wilterpole. Um, and he was one of the cottage sheep that we got to train Maggie, my dog, up on. But he was just a little bit boisterous and we didn't want to keep him in that little yard. We just felt like he wanted to jump out. So we popped him in with the girls and he is the most friendliest boy ever. The older couple that owned them before used to hand feed them. So he always comes over and says hello and now Connor and I have such a soft spot for him we are not going to actually butcher him because he just lives out here with the ladies. He is a weather, he's all castrated so he can't mate with them which is good because we don't want winter poles, we want Aussie whites and um, yeah but this is difficult to um, pull apart because it's obviously compressed. It's all I can get so it's taken some time but he knows what food is, look at him. <laughs> So the ones that are still pregnant are just game enough to come over, but the mamas with their babies are staying away for now. Um, obviously, I just want to add in that if you have thousands of sheep, you're not going to be doing this. You're going to be buying big hay rolls, um, but they're 250 bucks a hay roll at the moment. 
and we've only got 80 ewes, so look at the little lamb. <laughs> don't know where its mum is, somewhere around here. There's also what looks like a lamb down the bottom there sleeping. Not a good mum. I'll have to go and check on her or him later. They're all running over now, still got more to pop out. Oh, there's some more at the back there. She's got twins. I can hear some at the very back. I don't know what's going on up there. I'll take the quarter out after and um, have a zoom around. And there's a set of twins on opposite the other side of the creek there, the river. Guys, I'm a bit shocked. Um, well, not shocked, surprised. Um, Midnight, the only one that we've named out here, which you can't really see from here. I'll try and get a bit closer. The one with the black face, it's the only one we've named out of all of these ewes, has had a baby overnight. The kids were really excited to see whether or not it would also have black on it. But from here, it looks like it's just pure white. We'll go and have a look. I'm a little concerned about, there's a lamb down here. You can see a bit of white. It's just down there on its own. No mums around it. And it hasn't moved the whole time that I've been doing all this hay. So I'm gonna zoom on down there and then I'll show you guys midnight. There it is. Where's your mama? Oh, she's coming. Good mum. Didn't want another orphan, did we? Good mama. You keep an eye on your baby. <laughs> Good job, Midnight. So I've just crossed the creek and I found another three here, a set of twins and a single. Off you guys go. So I think we have 18, it's very hard to uh, count them all, <laughs> but they're all looking happy and healthy. So I might leave the video here, um, it was a bit of a spontaneous video, but um, yeah, there's been a lot packed into it already and there will be more lambing videos to come um, might show you guys a bit of bonfire tonight but um, yeah for now make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video it probably will be a lambing one if not it'll be our renovations I was thinking about um, sort of combining the laundry and the kitchen all just into one video because my channel's not really about renovations it's about farming so um, I could drag it out and try and get all the views and stuff but I'm not really into that I just like to put content up because it's my life and I'm not really into trying to get views so yeah <laughs> all right hope you guys have a good day bye mm -hmm.